morning guys welcome to my world good morning Jenny good morning guys <laughs> Steer, we could have been around that side. I don't know. So, guys, we're here now in this park, Davis Park. We're playing there inside, and we don't know how to get in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how to get in, guys. We're walking, we park there, and it's very far from the only because it told us. Because Google Map told us to, to park turn, there. I think it said turn right, didn't it? <laughs> she told us to park there. So now we're walking, looking for the entrance. The school, school park. Oh, they have basketball here. Basketball court. It's a big one. I think he's due to start at nine o'clock. Hello guys, Lomboy. Is it Lomboy Diribai? Manga? No, Lomboy. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's the English of Lomboy. Hello, like Lomboy Australia, guys. No. Dagan Lomboy Diriba. Man. Where's the entrance? Hey, darling. <laughs> Is there? It might be easy to get in. I a snippers. Now, guys, we don't know where's the entrance. No, we know where it is. It's right around the other side. Is it? You could get the car. <laughs> yeah, but see, there's no entry here. Maybe we could have swerved right there. What's that? The one in there? Yeah. Where's the entrance, mate? <laughs> um, opposite. Guys, we could park here. We know now. Oh. There's a sold. Oh. Look at the trees. Big trees. So dark, guys. Like we park on the other side of the, <laughs> the park. Walking is good. Walking. Walking is good, good exercise, guys. Good for Johnny. Look at Johnny boy. Looking good, Johnny. I've done my walk this morning. <laughs> yeah. My 15 minutes brisk walk. Need to walk, walk, walk again. To make sure Mick's here. If, there's not, if they're not here, we're not going in. Darling, who's, we're, we're walking over there again? Oh my god, that's far. 
Yeah, yeah, but we can't get in there. Oh dear. Here's the girl who wanted to do walking every day. <laughs> and playing. We've done half a lap of the oval. It's too far. <laughs> Guys, I'm just worried about Johnny. <laughs> Me? Why are you worried about I'm worried about Johnny walking. What? <laughs> My God, it's... Are you serious? Worried about me? I don't think so. <laughs> Guys, we're walking opposite. We park right opposite on the other side. Goodness. That's where Google told us to go. <laughs> I told you, don't trust Google. <laughs> Turned right into Jasper Street. But where's all the cars? Oh, goodness. There's the oh, entrance. Don't go in here. Nah? Go in here. Oh. What? <laughs> There's the Mariba Leagues Club. Yeah? Follow the leader. Darling, Gogo said you need to walk to the destination. <laughs> Here is the cars, guys. My God, we are we parked there. Opposite, find mixed cars. Oh my God, it's wet. The grass is wet. See, lots of cars. Sold us a dummy. <laughs> Good for walking. Na dirty na ako ang shoes, guys. Fun makes car. We're here inside, guys. Because there's only Mick and. Um... No, I don't see him up there. What's their color? I'm not sure. Well, and there are bigger kids there. There's what, one? How many ovals? Oh, he's... He's one to go on it. What's this one? This is the one we'll fly? Yeah. There's two teams are going out there. Where is Michael? Michael used to wear headgear. There's one wearing headgear there in the blue. Oh, there is two, three, four. Oh, God. Guys, we don't know where it is. Janice's well, grandson. One, two, there's three games going. One over there, I think. Uh, Guys, Johnny doesn't know where is his grandson. <laughs> there's a lot of people here. <laughs> Darling, you're a good taka there. Eh? Bush taka. <laughs> good bush taka boss. <laughs> yeah, well, there's headgear. Guys with headgear, but. I don't know. It must be him. It's a bigger boy, that one with his girl there. Is that him? That bigger boy. Mm, they're all big to me. A walk leaning forward. Is that him? I don't think he's on that team. There, there are small guys, this. Yeah. Is this girls? What? This one is a girl. Are they mix? Oh, I think you see. I don't know. Let's 
I've never known that. I've got time to change. Guys, we cannot find Janice grandson. We don't know. <laughs> we'll see what we find here. Guys. Yeah. Naka score ang apo ni Jan. Janice Grandson scored. Whoa. I'm sorry. We saw it. Proud, proud granddad. I like the ball. Naka score. First score, darling. Yeah. By Michael. Oh, there it is. Alright, we're walking around. Right, stop, boy! Hi, Good take, Trey! That way we go! Bye, T.I., you mate? Oh, that's Michael? Oh, you're on the red juice, are you? Tim. Did it go out? I don't think it did. No. Yeah, that's him. Hey, come sit up here, mate. Kapchagi nagyan na tanachin no. Nan amu mai do har suga opsachi. Chunnane banan danan iyaki ga. Nor ponan sungan ihe ga desa. Bon, yeah, 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 yeah,
Come on. There you go. Come on, you boy. Good, good. And you run on after this game, eh? Yeah. Big run on the second game after this. Is that finished now? Yeah. Oh, you got it? Yeah. I think so. How'd they go with this one after you? Yeah, one. 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 <laughs> it's midnight, we're going all night Can you pass a drink to get the vibe right? Don't feel like having a bad life Lost a kilo with some salt and lime Oh my, am I alright? Thanks for asking, doing just fine Say that you're looking real nice We'll love to chat right now before I get high When you came to my eyes I feel like I'm All the parents So done. guys, the game of Michael is done And he won, his team won Yeah, he, they won And he scored a try Yes Now we're going home and We're doing the Uh Whole lap of the oval <laughs> to get back to our car. Yes, we park in the other side of the oval. Marianne is reluctantly doing her exercise. <laughs> she talks the talk, but she don't walk the walk. Johnny uh, walks the walk. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's very hot. Hey mate. I got a. <laughs> yeah. So Mariba is green. Darling, we are Mariba. Green color. Matching. Green color. Mariba team. Yeah. So many cars here, guys. And we park there alone. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Bloody Google. Bloody Google. Bugging us up. Bloody Google. Bugging us up. You should turn around here because it's an oval. Time we know. Yeah. We know. So now we're going home now, guys. Before we're going to. <laughs> we're still through there. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. What are we doing out here? There's a footpath here. I don't know. Hey, oh, wasn't all the way. Oh, now you couldn't walk. You're gonna walk there. What's wrong with them? How could you walk in that pathway, guys? The cars is parked there. Look at the oval. The oval oh, is big. Is Look at the cover under the trees. Yes. Oh, this is for the little ones. Look, it's a little shorter <laughs> field. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at the goalposts. Yes, they're they're just they're little kids playing here, guys. It's like literally little. We're home guys, we're tired, <laughs> look at Jenny, tired walking, the whole circuit of the oval. I'm not tired from that, just got up early this morning, mm -hmm. I had a big day of driving yesterday. Yeah, I'll tell them what happened yesterday Jenny boy. You did? No. Tell them. You can tell them. Oh. <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday. So where do we start? <laughs> we start with clothing that Marianne had ordered from China, which was a relatively a package. Yes. And it was arrived in Australia from China within about four to five days of the order, which is pretty great service. And then the tracking from the supplier, Sheen, showed that it reached Australia, then it was in transit to Cairns, and then it had reached Cairns. It had reached Cairns on the 27th of April. So we thought, oh well, we know it takes a while for mail to come from Sydney 
takes a week to get mail, actually nine days from Sydney, Brisbane to Cairns or Mareeba. So we'll give it we'll give it a week or so. So anyway, on about the fourth, which is eight days after it arrived in Cairns, we went to Mareeba post office because they usually send us an email saying you have mail or parcel here. So there was none of that. So we knocked on the parcel door and the little lady came out, can I help you? Yes, we had this parcel ordered and it doesn't, has, we've had no indication that it's come up from Cairns to Mareeba. Oh, and Marianne showed her her phone, all the tracking, blah, blah, blah. And the lady said, all right, give me the tracking number and I'll feed it into our system, which she did. And the system didn't, could not identify the tracking number didn't exist according to the system. <laughs> so she said, look, meanwhile, we had to stand aside, waited about 15 minutes because she'd push us aside and let people that had come to collect parcels go ahead of us. So after about 15 minutes, finally she said, look, here's a hotline number. I can't really help you. Phone this number. So we came home and Mary Ann went a little bit, a step further than that. She found uh, on the internet a contact for Australia Post and you gave it all the details and where the parcel was from, the receiver and so forth and postal address and they would get back to us normally within 24 hours um, but certainly within 48 hours and that was last Wednesday. Here we are on Saturday <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. In fact, I think it was Tuesday. So here we are, 72 hours, maybe more. We haven't heard from Australia Post, who assured us that, look, we have your best interests at heart. Please don't get angry with us. We're having a higher volume of mail than normal at the moment. And they haven't got back to us four days later. So I can only assume that lots of parcels have gone astray our great Australia Post. Anyway, so I said, look, Marianne, I know what's happened here. Um, probably when Sheen have taken your order and they've fed your name into their computer. Oh, it's all come up, Marianne, card number, this address, which was our old address at Mirawini, um, yes, Mirawini Post Office. Wait, I said, close. they haven't put your new address on the computer because it's all come up, you're an old customer. I said, Oh, let's go down to Mirawini Post Office. I said, I don't want to ring because I might get fobbed off. Hard to fob people off when they front up in person. And I said, and you'll be with me too. So being with a woman, they might have a little bit more um, compassion. So yes, we drove the one and three quarter hour drive <laughs> down to Mirawini Post Office <laughs> yesterday. And we went in and the lady there was very helpful. And we're explaining that, you know, we thought the missing parcel might have come here to our old address. She went away and looked. She said, no, look, there's nothing here for you. Meanwhile, the owner of the franchise, Brian, a lovely guy, he came up and he said, yeah, yeah. He said, look, oh, that's really strange. And Marianne showed them her phone, you know, look, here, it left, it left China, it <laughs> arrived in Australia, in transit to Cairns, reached Cairns. And the lady said, look, she said, this is not Australia Post. It's got a toll, T-O-L-L, -L, at the top. She said, that's toll courier. And I, she, she said, it's come by toll. And I said, oh, my goodness. I said, I'm so glad you've pointed that out. I said, we just assumed it was Australia Post because last time from Sheen, the order came Australia Post. Hmm. So... She said, you'll have to go to Cairns. She said, that's where Toll's depot is. Thank them very much. And um, off we toddled to Cairns, another hour's drive. <laughs> <laughs> so we found Toll, Google map took us to Toll. And um, the lady there was very, very helpful. She said, oh yes, I'll just feed this number in. See, it wasn't the consignment number or the tracking number wasn't an Australia Post one, it was a Toll one. So she fed it into her computer and up it came. She said, oh yes, she said, your parcel, your parcel has been delivered to our 
delivery agent in Mariba, um, ABC Transport, I think she called it. And she said, it's been delivered to your address, but no one was home. And um, so she said, I can only assume it's back at the depot. She said, look, I'll phone them for you. So she did. How sweet of her. She phoned them and got on to the guy in the delivery truck who was out on deliveries. And he said, yes, I've got the parcel here. He said, um, but uh, it's only care of post office Mariba. Max. And we can't leave post, but Mariba, Australia Post will not accept parcels from, from toll. toll because they're competitors. They're competing against each other. So even though it was addressed to our post office box in Mariba, Toll couldn't, Australia Post won't accept it. So the poor guy, they don't know where to deliver it to. So in actual fact, it hadn't been delivered to our house. It Open was- in your eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, you've been talking close eyes. So anyway, Mary Ann spoke to the driver on the phone. The lady had got him on the phone. She spoke to the driver and he said, look, I'll drop it at your house. And he said, I'm still out on delivery. So Mary Ann gave him the address. We thanked them very much. And I said to the lady at Toll, I said, you are one of the most friendly and helpful people that I've ever come across. And she said, oh, thank you very much. But what I said was true. She went to no end of trouble. Mm -hmm. So when we got home, we're hoping a quarter later, here was our parcel at the front door. We tracked it all around. <laughs> We'd done the whole circuit from Mariba down the Palmerston to Innisfail, then out to Mirawini. Then we found, yep, it's a toll in Cairns. We got the toll. The toll said, no, it's been delivered to our Mariba sub-agent who, who takes over the delivery up there. And so we went right around the circle. <laughs> However, I must add, and this is true, there are a lot of prayers involved to St. Anthony, who was the patron saint of lost items. Mm -hmm. I've prayed to him all my life, and he's always found things for me. And yes, we prayed to St. Anthony, or I did. Marianne's a bit of a heathen. <laughs> I prayed to him, and he found it for us. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, guys, because Johnny can't sleep over it. I'm very worried. I'm very worried for her because it was $200 worth of clothes. And um, I said, the bloody Chinese, the bloody Chinese, you know, they're, they're the ones behind this. They were so efficient. The Chinese were so efficient, told us where the parcel was right up until Cairns. And Australia Post was still waiting for them to contact us four days later. How the hell could we ever win a war in this country against China? Don't we're, talk totally, about that. we're totally inept. Mob <laughs> anyway. You done? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So that's my advice to people when items go missing, pray to St. Anthony. He'll put you on the right track. Okay. Thank you. Thank Goodbye. you very Cheerio. much. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a long explanation, guys. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. My parcel arrived in Australia in seven days. It arrived in Cairns from China. China in seven days. And then from... Eight days later, we still haven't got it. <laughs> from Cairns to... Mariba, it's over a week and we're tracking it ourselves in the goodness. Because it says waiting for pickup, guys. Waiting. Yeah, well, we can't blame them because they, the parcel had a postal address on it and Australia Post will not accept ma uh, deliveries from a competitor. Yeah. Which happens to be toll and their sub agent, ABC Transport. Yeah, they don't. So Australia Post. Well, you know what I think of them. Still waiting for the call. <laughs> yeah, that's it, guys. That's our experience in my parcel. And a, one thing here is, is I can say, if it takes them this long to make a call, four days over our parcel, how many other hundreds of thousands of parcels have gone missing? Australia Post. <laughs> Darling, there. 
They're delivering your parcel. That's another story. <laughs> story for another day. So guys, you know, so we have a parcel to unbox. We'll do it in another video because this video is very long now. Jan is talking. <laughs> yes, so guys, you know yung vlog namin today. So hope you enjoyed this video. I sympathize oh. with Chum. I understand how Chum feels. I watched a bit of it. A lot of it was in her language, but I got the gist of it. I sympathize with her. I understand how she feels. It's very frustrating indeed. Yes, Chum we lost. Have to put, we have to put our trust in a higher authority. Mm -hmm. I've been into that, say no more. Yeah, but now, guys, we know the drill of the toll. Johnny said, don't buy anymore. <laughs> don't buy anymore from Shein because of that happened, guys. Shein were very, very good. But they obviously have got a new... Maybe they've changed from, they've changed from Australia Post who delivered last time to toll. Maybe because Australia Post is so inefficient. Losing things. They've changed over to another courier. To a private courier. Are you dead? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Taposin ko na to guys. Yun na yung vlog namin today. Watching uh, Janice's uh, grandson hey, football. playing football. And uh, he did a first try, a first score. Yeah, first score. Try yeah. in the first five minutes. Yeah, proud granddad. Very proud. So, yun na yun guys. Paulit ulit. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. At kung bago kayo dito, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye, Johnny boy. See you guys. Take care.